Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Biki here with the Untitled Game Show video podcast, back once again to talk about some more video game news. I'm sure you guys have heard about the Order 1886. A lot of people are talking about the game time right now. Some people have uploaded a video to YouTube that somehow hasn't been taken down. That is about five hours in length, and the game doesn't come out till, well, February 20th, and it is pretty early in the week right now, being February 16th. And I'm here to talk about the length of the games and why you shouldn't concern yourself so much about how long a game is until you play said game. Now, let me preface this by saying, yes, games can be too short and yes, games can be too long. But you need to look at every single game individually and decide what you will be getting from that type of game. Really, what are you looking for? When I think about a game like the Orta 1886 and what I've seen of the previews and the basic information there is about this game, I'm going to this game looking for a story and a more of a cinematic feel from the game. I'm not going in there looking for a 30-hour Fallout, Skyrim, or a Witcher kind of RPG gameplay. That's not really what I'm going to look for in this game. So personally, if the story, when I pick up the order, is well delivered, and even if it was only four hours, I think I would personally enjoy the game. This goes for the same for a game like Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rains, and games of those similar genres where that were not the very longest games out there, but I did enjoy the story that I did have. Now, of course, like I said, games can be too short. An example of this is where the main campaign of the story, like Destiny, was slightly short or maybe lacking in the delivery. Now, if the Destiny story was actually delivered a full campaign in the length it took to beat that game, then I actually don't think there would have been a problem to say that Destiny was a fulfilling game. So I don't think you should actually negate points from a game too much by the length of its story or length of, by, of its campaign, but more or less does it fulfill its job by actually delivering good gameplay while telling its story. Many games out there, like Gears of War, I'll give for example, is a good length game and delivers a pretty good story, in my opinion. I think the Gears of War games are pretty good stories overall. I mean, they can be kind of cheesy, but I think the story is watchable and enjoyable as a whole. The Metal Gear games, once again, another pretty long series, good, long, heavy, deep story. But because the game is long is not why I think the Solid Snake story is really good, it's not why I think Marcus Phoenix story overall was pretty good, it's because, well... The studios behind those games made what they wanted to do to do a great gameplay while delivering a great story. And that's what I'm going to be looking for on February 20th when I pick up the, well, the order. I'm hoping that the game actually delivers a good story in whatever length amount of time it takes me to beat a game. Now, of course, me personally, anybody who watches my YouTube channel knows I play games very slow. It'll take me a month to beat a game that's only 10 hours long because I play it in different, different trunks unless it's a game I absolutely love where I beat it in one sitting. So for me... I will probably get my money's worth. For some games out there, if $60 is your thing and you're doing, is my money worth my time? Then think about it this way. Know that games that are heavy focused on stories, at least in the past, if you're going to go by games like Heavy Rain and very single player focused games, you only play through those games once, there's not a lot of filler in those games, not a lot of collectibles, then make sure you realize that you may not be getting a 50 to 100 hours worth of gameplay. And that's what you're looking for for your 60 bucks. You might need to go to another game like Far Cry or Assassin's Creed where there's tons of collectibles. For me, the collectibles, the extra stuff in the game is not really what I'm buying the game for. I'm buying the game for what's on that box art, what's on those trailers, what they're trying to sell to me, that cinematic experience, gameplay, and the story as one complete package. If you're looking for extra content in your games, it's always great to have it. Even now, they're trying to sell a lot of it as DLC, but I'm not a big fan of DLC. My overall point to the situation is, guys, think about what you're going to be getting from a game before you really decide if you're going to spend your $60 and maybe the time you invest in your game is going to be worth it for you. For me, the order, from what it looks like, if the story is correct, I'm going to enjoy it no matter the length. If the game ends up being four hours for me, then I'll be okay with it. If the game ends up being 10 hours with me and I enjoy it, it'll be okay with it. But if I can't even get through an hour of the game and I don't like it, then I'm going to be upset. I'm not going to be upset inherently just because the game is short or just because a game is long. Because a long game can be a bad game as well. Biki here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with more of my opinions on video games. Share your own in your comment section below, because I know a lot of people might have different opinions to me to this, because I know some people, at least on the forums, reading people's comments on this story are like, oh my god, it's too short, oh my god, I'm not going to buy this game now that it's only five hours, and I'm like, what if the game's actually good?
That's all I'm going to say. Peace out, guys. Thank <laughs> you.